Hi, hey, hi, 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 everybody. This is a quick new Dwarven video for Warhammer. This one I'm going to be talking about one of the new units of the game, the Gyro Bomber. I like the Gyro Bomber. I like the whole flyers that they put into it. This is a little personal note here. Here's the thing that I was really expecting to have in in Dwarves, which, which they're missing and makes me sad. Tanks. The... If the Empire can have a steam tank, what would the dwarves be having? I mean, doesn't a tank seem more dwarvish than a helicopter or a gyrocopter? To me, it does, but I really wanted them to have tanks, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I could have... I don't know. Never mind. Sorry. I'm sad I, that I don't have dwarven tanks. But we have dwarven gyro bombers. So here we go. The gyro bomber is a, is a rare choice. Uh, it's got a movement one, it says apparently. Weapon skill four, ballistic skill three, strength four, toughness five, wounds three, initiative two. So even their helicopters are slow. <laughs> Leadership nine. <clears throat> and it's a unique. Um... It's got a 4-plus armor save, and of course, it flies. Now, it comes with a nice special ability called the Bombing Run. And during what the Bombing Run does is during the remaining moves subphase, models with this special rule may drop a bomb, lay a deuce, whatever, uh, pinch a loaf, unless they are fleeing or have declared a charge that turn. To make a bomb run, select one unengaged unit, enemy unit that the gyro bomber moved over in that turn and place a large 5-inch template, nice, anywhere over the target unit and roll for scatter and damage. The same is for the stone thrower rule in Warhammer. If a misfire is rolled, use the bomb misfire chart below. And this is where it gets fun. <clears throat> Grudge buster bombs have the following profile. Strength 3 or 6. Special rule armor piercing and a D3 multiple wounds. Okay. After resolving the damage caused by the Grudge Buster Bomb, roll a D6. On a 4+, plus, the bomb scatters a D6 inches from where it first landed. A hit remains in place. Place the small, round, 3-inch template on the new location and resolve the damage using the following profile below. See, we're having fun. It cannot bounce a third time. <laughs> okay now it says use the profile below but it doesn't give a new profile below so what can I say uh, because the below that is the misfire chart and I don't think they're saying use that but maybe they are who knows if they are here's the bomb misfire chart on a one you get a premature ejaculation I mean detonation <laughs> the the gyro bomber suffers a strength six hit with a d3 wounds. Uh, on a two to three, you get a jammed release. Center the three inch template over the gyro bomber before scattering it and resolve damage as normal. The bomb does not bounce. On a sit on a four to six, it's a dud. Only the model. Under the template center hole is hit, you lucky bastard, you. <laughs> Suffering a single strength for hit. I guess that's irony for you. Uh, <laughs> clatter gun is another thing that it has. The clatter gun is fired in the shooting phase with the profile below. It's range 24. It's strength 4. It's... Armor piercing, dwarf crafted, 
multiple shots, four, and quick to fire. Okay. I guess a clatter gun is a machine gun. So, I, I, I like it. Um... I like the bombs, so it's it's big. It's basically a bigger version of the gyrocopter, which is the strafing rum. I don't know if it still has the steam cannon, but this is nice. I like that the bombs hit pretty much no matter what, you know. Uh, even on the misfire chart, you. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. Only a one hurts the actual uh, gyro bomber, or has a has a chance to anyway. But everything else, you're still pretty much hitting the target. Seriously, I mean, even even on the four to six, you you still choose where to put the template on the formation, so you can still pick the champion or whoever you like. It's still gonna take a strength four hit, so it's, it's not all that bad. Now, here's some here's a preface that they have made with this. Adam, whoever that is, who worked with making this, says, With the Grudge Bruster bombs capable of blasting the heart out of enemy units, the Gyro Bomber is the perfect unit to rush ahead of your army and whittle down the enemy before your dwarf warriors get to grips with them. And I find that they almost never get to grips with anything, unless they're charged. The larger your target, the more models you can hit. So single out the biggest enemy regiment first. Don't waste your time on those really tough, heavily armored foes. This is very good advice because a lot of people take all those dwarf engines and whatnot and just hit the biggest thing on the table. No. Fire cannons at that stuff. This model, this, the gyro bomber, is for wiping out your standard infantry troop things walking around. That's where it shines. Now, start with the gyro copper, cop, gyro bomber on one of your flanks, and then advance using cover to block enemy shots and charges, which you should be doing all the time. Because it is relentless, the gyro bomber can always march. Which means there's no reason you can't be flying a whopping 20 smeggin' inches every turn. Even in the midst of enemy units, you're just flying over them. Use this ability, people. Jump over enemy units. Always land outside of the range of the enemy with that nice total 20 inches. This shouldn't be a problem. But... As with everything, you got to think. So, if you can use the gyro bomber that way, uh, 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 they can pretty much just fly around the table doing whatever they want, dropping bombs on uh, on hopefully lightly armored units and wiping them out. The more, the better. Fleeing units is great. You know those partial units that are just running away, and you just want them fucking dead. This is the guy to do it. Okay, that's the Gyro Brahmer. I hope you liked the video. See you next time.